Jakara Anthony has created history by winning Australia's first gold medal in the women's moguls at the Beijing Winter Olympics. It is Australia's first gold in Beijing, breaking a 12-year drought since an Australian last topped the podium at the Games. Anthony is Australia's sixth Winter Olympic champion. Her victory also delivered Australia two medals on the same day at an Winter Olympics for the first time, following Tess Cody's bronze in the women's slopestyle earlier on Sunday. It's really incredible to know that all the hard work that I have been putting into my whole skiing career is really paying off, Anthony told the Seven Network. Anthony has dominated the women's moguls competition since it began on Thursday. She had the highest score in the opening qualification phase, leaving her with a target on her back ahead of Sunday's first final. But the 23-year-old showed cool nerves to again top the standings in the first final, with an outstanding score of 81.91. She repeated the dose in the second final with the top score of 81.29, meaning she would be the last skier to head down the course in the super final. However, her task was not made easy when American Jalen Korf, the second last skier in the super final, produced a score of 80.28. Anthony was not overwhelmed by the occasion, however, and she clinched gold with 83.09. Stayed focused on what I needed to do, she said she refused to be distracted by the performances of her rivals throughout the three finals. I really just tried to stay focused on what I needed to do, Anthony said. That was all I could control in the moment. Anthony paid tribute to the support her family had given her on her journey to the Olympics. There is so much support. I have a massive support team around me, she said. Obviously, my family, they have been key to that my whole life. The opportunity they have given me and the sacrifices they have made. I really, really can't thank them enough. It has been pretty tough on them at times. The opportunities that they have given me in life, as a person and athlete. I couldn't ask for anything more. I am so thankful and grateful for everything that they have done for me. Korf claimed the silver medal behind Anthony, with Anastasia Smirnova of the Russian Olympic Committee finishing with the bronze. Anthony's fellow Australians Britt Cox and Sophie Ash placed 14th and 16th respectively on the final standings. Well, we didn't know how things would go, it's been an up and down night at Zhangjiaku. Sophie Ash made it through Q2 to reach the finals, then she and Brittany Cox found the going a bit too hot in final one but Jakara Anthony maintained her dominant position to advance. She kept hitting those 80-plus scores, landing big air and getting the job done. Even when challenged in the final by speed queen Jalen Korf, she produced the run of the competition to claim gold. That's where we'll leave it. We'll have color coverage in the morning from our man in Beijing, Simon Smale, including the reaction from Jakara Anthony. For now, thank you for joining us on our live blog, and from me. Andrew McGarry, it's a good night to all.